So we are talking about 8.1 of Savage C++ uh, book. And this is the third part of section one, the C string. And we're gonna be talking about how we're gonna use a C string in functions, passing it as a parameter. We're gonna talk about the input and output on a C string. So C strings are just like arrays with extra character or backslash zero. So when we're passing it as a uh, parameter, it's just gonna be like your arrays. Uh, so the rule of thumb is if you're gonna do any changes in your C string, you wanna pass the size of your array or that you are holding your C string to be sure you're not gonna fall off of it because C++ is not gonna check it for you. And if you are not gonna be modifying it, then you don't need that size. All you need is a string length, S-T-R-L-E-N, that is accessible anywhere you are. So you don't need to pass the actual size of the array. You just use the string lengths. So we can do a C out on C string as far as it has that package like zero in there somewhere, we can uh, see out. We can also do a C in. in. Remember, we could not do this with arrays. So if it's a regular array, we cannot do a C in, C out on them. But if it has that package like zero, no character, we can do C in, C out with the C string. We can read the whole line. We already talked about the get line in a string. I don't want you to confuse it with this one. This is a little different. I am not worried about this one too much. I'm just gonna tell you this is available. I'm not expecting you to spend too much on this C string. So the get line is has a dot and it's a member function. For the CE, you can do the get line. So one character is there for a null character. Remember, we need to be sure that we're going to have that backslash zero. Get line is going to stop even if the end of the line has not been reached because we're going to have a number in there. So it's going to either get the whole line or it's going to stop at this number. So that's why we have this number in there because we don't want to keep going. Remember, get line is looking for backslash n. What about if there is no backslash n? What about we have 200 lines? Do we wanna read all of them? That's why we put this number. So we're gonna read up to backslash n. We are not gonna go more than 80 characters, either or. And we can read it from the file. You guys did similar to this for your get line of string. So it's a get line as a member function. We're gonna put a string variable. How many character do we want? Plus one for backslash zero. Okay, so that's, I'm gonna stop right here. Take a look at these things, think about it. How are you gonna read? How are you gonna print? How are you gonna read the whole line? Just reflect on those things. And then uh, we can talk about it as soon as you, going to be ready to talk.